had a phone call from my doctor with the results for my blood test. It's almost time for us to potty train you. Just thank God for everybody for being so understanding and patient with me. My baby grandpa is going to come here. Oh, okay. You guys color the ground? Oh my gosh. You know, that Instagram influence life. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Side family. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Larry Ann here, and it is vlog, video vlog number three. And um, I'm going to read the scripture of the day for you. It comes from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, and it says, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. All who are broken. Yes. All who are weak. See, this is why I like doing video vlogs, because if I feel like singing, I sing. If I don't, I don't. So today is Wednesday, como siempre, and um, I have been going through some lifestyle changes this week. As I mentioned briefly in a vlog, I got a phone call from my doctor with the results for my blood test, and um, the the phone call was not, it was a voicemail, she, she left a voicemail, and uh, I did not expect to hear what I heard, and... Um, like, on, it, it was bittersweet because on the one hand, I was really happy that she mentioned nothing about my thyroid or sugar, which I assume means that there's nothing wrong with my thyroid or my sugar. But on the other hand, I have three deficiencies. I have um, iron deficiency, anemia. I have um, B12 deficiency. And I have uh, vi vitamin D deficiency. All of those are really bad. So that explains why I'm always tired. It explains why I go to sleep for like eight hours to wake up tired I take a nap I wake up tired um, I suddenly like it's something that was happening to me that was very weird was the fact that I would get this feeling do I have I didn't even check my face I probably have boogers and drool all over but um I would feel like I just took a Benadryl like it would be 12 o'clock and my eyes would be so heavy and now I understand why I have that feeling it's because of all the deficiencies I grew up mildly anemic, so hearing the word anemic is not strange to me. I was anemic during both of my pregnancies with the boys, and um, you know, so that's something I'm used to, but like, it's like for sure, like you are deficient. And the scary thing is that vitamin B12 deficiency can lead to blood cancer. So, you know, I volunteer for an organization called LLS, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, which is dedicated to like providing services for people with blood cancer. And I don't want to be walking in that event because I have that cancer, you know what I mean? So my good sister, the pharmacist to be, she sent me some link. She made me an Amazon list and sent me the link to order all of the stuff that I need to be taking that the doctor mentioned in the voicemail I have them here um, well I, I have three of them one is coming tomorrow or today I have my iron by nature made I have my d3 5000 I don't even know what that means IE and I have the b12 and I don't know what the other one is that's coming but something else is coming so the scary thing about this is the fact that it says for the iron one it says vital for red blood cell fo formation that's scary and the b12 um supports cellular energy production in the body and the d3 supports bone teeth muscle and immune health so it it kind of explains why my teeth are so sensitive like i can't eat anything hot cold I hit the same finger twice basically guys it is time to take care of my health I hope that you'll enjoy watching this video log I have a feeling that it's gonna be extra talkative but I hope that you stick around good morning Jonathan I'm pooping you're pooping oh good morning pooping oh mommy's pooping too yeah oh okay oh oh how did you sleep? Are you okay? You feeling good? No, I'm pooping. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get you changed then. Jonathan, you didn't poop. You peed. Yeah. yeah you went pee pee. You know, Jonathan, it's almost time for us to potty train you. 
potty. Yeah, because you always tell me that you need to use a potty after you pee. You're supposed to tell me before. When you have to go pee pee, you say, Mommy, I need to pee pee. Okay? One. Two. Ah. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Oh, yeah. What do you say? Oh, I fell it. <laughs> you fell? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Okay. I stuck. You stuck? Yeah. I'll help you. The best, the best. What happened? You don't want your oatmeal? No. Yeah. Why not? A few minutes later. Alright, push it. Okay. I think it's done, Jasmine. Good job. Oh, open. Oh, yeah, we're gonna open it. Would you like some? No. You don't want any, you sure? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You sure you don't want any? Yeah. You want some? No, you put it back. Let's put it back. Yeah. yeah. I know you're gonna want some, so I'll give you some, okay? Okay. So Jonathan and I are currently hanging out. I am getting some work done, right, Jonathan? Yeah, and he's watching Wiggles, as he calls it. Um, I'm working on editing some pictures and in between editing I'm going to be crocheting because I feel like yesterday I just like worked myself to the bone. It was really, really bad. Really bad. I overworked myself. I didn't finish working until 12.20 and I was just so emotionally exhausted and I just thank God for Rudy for being so understanding and patient with me like I don't know I was so stressed out afterwards that I couldn't even speak like it was really bad but Rudy was there for me and we started this new thing where we don't go on our phones after midnight um, because I'm trying to have proper sleep hygiene and um, so <laughs> I couldn't fall asleep because anxiety was killing me. Like so many thoughts were running through my head. I would like think of all the work that I have to do and like panic a little bit and I told Rudy I can't sleep. So we found another way to help ourselves go to sleep. <laughs> so um, yeah, um, back to what I was saying. Um, just working and hanging out with Jonathan and then we're gonna eat lunch. Yeah! Hey Jonathan, what you eating? Pineapples. Pineapples? Are they yummy? That's good. And this is my lunch, leftover dinner from yesterday. It's Mexican. And we cooked it. Yama! A few moments later. Jaden walked into the room after 4 o'clock and woke me up from my nap. So. Say! Yeah, I only See, got guys? to sleep for like See? I'm right a half here. hour. But it's fine because I woke up with no headache, which has ha which has not happened See? in a really long time. Look at okay? Yeah, this is Jonathan's outfit. Um, I have to go to the daycare right now to shoot their anniversary party from 5 to 6. So um, I'm going to go wake up Jonathan and put these clothes on him. Maybe Grandpa can help me, right, Jaden? Yeah. yeah. And my... my 
my baby grandpa on a computer. Oh, okay. guys it is me that guy that is not home during the day because he has to work so uh, I am home I went to go pick up Larry and Jaden and Jonathan at their fun time at the school I am just chilling right now they're playing with grandpa um, I fed them uh, today I guess they're really eating cookies and stuff at the school because it was a party so um I learned had to head out to do like a quick quick thing with Agnes so I ended up just ordering pizza. You know, sometimes you just gotta do that. Keeps you sane. Keeps you sane. So I'm gonna get the boys ready for bed right now. Daddy You guys need to clean up please. Daddy Jaden? <laughs> Jay Jonathan? Yeah. Can you clean up? Did you guys color the ground? Oh my gosh. Alright guys, clean up, clean up. You see the dog right there? Huh? Clean up. Put the I dog in the, the toy dog. chest. In the toy chest. In the toy chest. Quick, 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 quick. In the toy chest. Clean up. Get the puzzle piece. Run. Go, go. Put it in there. Put it in there. Why are you guys throwing it? Don't throw it. Put it in there. Quick, quick, quick. Get, the, the, get it in there. Get it in there. Get it in the toy chest. More stuff. In the toy chest. In the toy Do it. Wrong way! Wrong way! Where are you going? Wait, what, are you trying to hide? Don't hide! More! More! Put it in the toy! Everything in the toy chest! Put every- Where are you running in circles? Yeah. You put it in the toy chest? You put it in the toy chest? Yes? Yes? Okay, uh, uh Jonathan, you guys- uh, 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 You guys are done? You guys did it? Did you just hit your head? Yeah. Are <laughs> you okay? Come here. Give me a hug. You all right? Yeah, I take you. Oh. And Jonathan, Jonathan, you happy you cleaned up? Yeah. Okay. So it's time for bed. Jonathan, come. We're gonna we're gonna go to sleep soon. All right. We gotta read a book and we gotta pray. All right. Yeah. And then. So guys, um, yeah. As you heard, I gotta put them down. <laughs> See you in a minute. So guys, I just finished taking pictures for an ad campaign for a razor. It's called Joy. It's $8.97 at Walmart. It's for Instagram, not for here. So this is not sponsored by them. But, so I took one picture, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, I look mad cute. And so I decided to send it to Larique, Vanessa, and Agnes. And both Larique and Agnes said that I should redo it because my legs were too open. Even though I was like covered, I guess it looks weird. So then I had to go and do it all over again, which is kind of annoying because I actually shaved my leg. So I shaved one leg, was about to post a photo, and then I had to redo the photo, so I had to come and shave the other leg. <laughs> it's like 10.30 now. <laughs> so yeah, you know, that Instagram influence life, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, pay some bills, yeah. And this is my dinner, and this is my lunch. Jonathan, stop, stop. And this is... Bye!